Okay, so it's the first time driving my new little bus. <sighs> Flipping heck, I reckon I'm bigger. I say bigger because, yeah, I'm quite big. This could be interesting. Well, I got over that bridge. Man, there must have been, I don't know, I don't know. There was millimetres of clearance on each side, probably, probably about an inch on each side, which is not a lot. I was a little bit scared. I went across it so slow, so slow. Um, but yeah, it's a cross without any damage. So that's the hardest part of the trip. Now I've still got four hours drive to do to get back down to the Argarve. And then I'll probably wait a day, clean it up a little bit and introduce you to, to the new truck, which, yeah, I think a lot of people won't like it. I really think a lot of people won't like it, but I do like it, and that's all that matters. So I got back last night. I will give you a quick look round very soon. At the minute, I'm just going to clean everything, absolutely everything, and try and make it look shiny and tidy and smell pretty before I load all my possessions in. Well, it looks like the skylight on my new bus is not sealed properly. So the next time it stops raining, I've got to get up there and rectify that. I say thanks to Steve that's on site. He had a box full of goodies, USB sockets. So I'm about to put one in, in replace of that old fashioned one. Come up to the roof here. And you see, I've just scraped back a load of silicon. There's this big crack here and uh, a bit of a chip there. So we're going to clean it all off. I'm here with Steve. He has some really good stuff. I don't actually know what the stuff is that he's got, uh, but it's used to make things waterproof and watertight. So, yeah, we're going to cover it up now. So I was doing the work and then someone shouted, well, it's actually Kev. Kev's going to leave me a trolley comment. And Kev said, you should be filming this, and I don't want to film it and paint it at the same time. But this stuff is from Germany. I don't know what it is. You guys might recognise it. It's, uh, I don't even know what would you say it is. It's like fibreglass and putty in one. And, uh, yeah, you can cover up some holes. What are they for? Oh, it's sandpaper. I have to put some fancy music over the top and make me look like a professional. Yeah. Okay, so we slowed down one leak, but it is still dripping as you can see. And if I come across here, yeah, you'll see I've got quite a good leak going into the bucket there. So, more work in the morning. Right, so this morning I was up bright and early, um, pinched some more of this sealant stuff. As you can see, I've done a proper martin job on it, and it's not very neat at all. But, hopefully now that'll be watertight. So I'm going to let it dry, put the skylight back on, and go get the hose over it. So let's see if that does the trick. Just giving the van a quick wash, as you can see, it's nice and white down the bottom. I'll show you the other side very quickly. You'll see, how mucky and dirty it is on this side. Maybe because it's not in the sunlight, you won't see it too much. But if I show you up at the top, just underneath the awning where I'm doing it at the minute, you can just see the sky in there. Yeah, it's a bit grimy. So bleach and washing up liquid and a hose pipe. Yeah, the video has been a bit not happening. It just hasn't been happening. And I don't even know what the video quality 
it'll sound what it is like on this camera. Right, good morning. I am fully aware of how bad that video quality is. Now, what I should have done is I've took the GoPro, took this camera I'm using now, and I should have tested the camera that I took on my trip. So please excuse the audio quality. Um, I'm going to try and dub out what I can and leave in the stuff I want to leave in. It's probably around 20 minutes worth of footage that I'll be binning. So yeah, we'll try and get through this as quick as we can. Take my apologies and uh, yeah, I'll make sure that doesn't happen in the future. This is the one that was given to the boondockers as a spare and they sent it to me because they know I'm having problems with mine. And I'm driving back to the UK. Okay, so that was the first fuel stop done of this trip back to the UK. 90 euros, uh, 86 litres, so it's not too bad. Uh, much better prices here than in Portugal and definitely better prices than the UK. So, so there we go, 90 euros in the tank. Right, let's get tunes on and let's get moving. Oh, you can't see me at all, so let me fix this. Okay, you can see the pump instead. Um, this is the last petrol station before France. So, I thought I'd top up. So there's an extra 45 litres there. And that's amazing, it was 94 cents. Well, nearly 95 cents. So yeah, made up. Um, I had to swing around because the one on the other side of the road isn't open. And it's the... Uh, the easy gas i don't know how good this camera is i've said this earlier but yeah i'm gonna park up for the night now and uh do the rest of the mileage in the morning good morning so it's 10 o'clock i slept like a log no i didn't i woke up many many times really cold and then i forgot i left the night heater in so i should have really turned that on but anyway i've had a good sleep I'm just about to set off. Uh, I want somewhere private, so I'll give myself a little wash down and brush my teeth and all that crap. But I don't know if I'll find anywhere today. But before that, I need to pass somewhere and pick up a coffee. That's another 25 litres, just over 30 euros, 30 euros and one cent. So, um, yeah, I've probably got like 200 kilometres to go. France is supposed to be in a lockdown now. So I've got paperwork with me, I've got digital copies on my phone. 
just in case I do get pulled over. My ferry's in a few hours. I might, I might, I'm going to make a little bit more progress, I think. I think it's best that if I make a little bit more progress and then kip for maybe an hour or two. Um, but yeah, let's hit the road again. Well, we made it to the ferry, face mask as well. Uh, so yeah, park up here for an hour and then I'll get some rest. So obviously I drove back to the UK today to drop off the van. I, I'm, I'm social distancing from the new owners. Um, a few people are gonna be very, very surprised of who now owns this van. And I think they're enjoying it just as much as I do. And uh, yeah, we have Alex from Car Throttle. There's a bus coming, now I can say hello. Hello, how's everyone going? This, so, this is our new van. Yeah, so this is Alex's new van and it is completely bare in the back at the minute as bare as it can be so yeah i will leave a link in the description below not that i'm making a difference to their channel um, uh, every little helps man. every little does help but yeah. they can keep an eye on the progress of what's happening and alex do you think you've been ripped off have you bought a lemon i don't think so i think this is probably one of my strongest purchases yeah <laughs> yeah it's wicked i love it right. i love a van and this is a good one let me know when you get back home will do all right peace out bye bye <laughs>